Hello, welcome to The Kitchen Spy. My name is Kate and this is another grocery haul and it's late. <laughs> Normally I do these on Friday, but uh, yeah, something fairly monumental for me happened on Friday in that I left the company that I worked for for, well, to be precise, 19 years, 6 months and 15 days. So yeah, that was um, a, big, a big deal and um, it felt... Well, I felt, I suppose, even though it's a good thing, I felt discombobulated because, you know, it's um, it's all the emotion of leaving all of the people that you've met and, um, and that you've made friends with over all of those years. And uh, I got such a lot of lovely messages from people. And, um, yeah, it made me feel... Well, it was kind of humbling, really, how, how lovely people were about me. And, um, yeah, I um, will always appreciate um, the, the people that I met at, at that company and the time that I had. I really enjoyed my time there and this is just time for something new now. Um, it, by the way, I am recording this on Monday. It's a bank holiday in the UK, so... Of course, it is absolutely honking it down with rain and I'm in a caravan. So if you can hear the rain on the roof, that is why. So apologies for that. Anyway, so in terms of what I'm going to be doing now, and I appreciate this is a really long intro, so I'm sorry about that. Um, and I have bookmarked down below when the haul starts, if that's all you're interested in. Um, so... I'm going to be eventually working for myself, but at the moment I'm going to be working for my husband. He um, is, he's self-employed and he um, sells antique photographs and uh, ephemera and things like that, as well as his own photography. So I'm going to be working with him for the rest of this year, really. And then um, I'm going to be looking into uh, doing something for myself around the antiques and collectibles thing. And I will be starting a new um, Instagram and a new Etsy shop and things like that. But, um, you know, it's... Uh, it, it's all in the planning at the moment, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing, uh, but pretty much uh, it will be for us, just me and my husband. So, yeah, it's really exciting and scary, of course. And obviously, I'll be carrying on with my YouTube. You don't get rid of me that easily. Anyway, I hope this video finds you safe and well. So let's have a look at what I bought this year, this week, this year. That would be a long video. Uh, this is uh, Tesco again because I'd got it booked and I hadn't got time to do anything else. Hello and welcome to another haul. And even though I said I was going to go to Aldi this week, I haven't had time. I'm definitely going to Aldi next week. Um, but um, I just used this slot up I'd got for Tesco because uh, I just hadn't got time to go out, unfortunately, and do what I needed to do. So um, next week, Aldi, hopefully. Um, OK, let's have a look at what we bought. So some pork chipolatas. Now, I wanted to get the sausages that we had last week because they were really, really yummy, but they hadn't got them. And so I'm figuring that they were the pork sausages, the finest pork sausages. So I'm figuring that the finest pork chipolatas should just be thinner sausages. I could be wrong. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. Then some streaky bacon, and this is the dry cured unsmoked. Um, I like dry cured, and I don't like smoked bacon, so hopefully that'll be nice. And then some chicken thigh fillets. Again, couldn't get free range, but I've got, um, um, I was going to say a litre, kind of a litre of thigh fillets. A kilo of thigh fillets for £5, which I think is a really good price. And I shall um, portion those up and freeze them. Then some of our usual lacto-free milk with a, a good date, as usual. So that's to the 21st of May. Some cheddar. I got the cream fields cheddar last time uh, because it was cheaper and as you know I'm economising um, but um, yeah I didn't like it as much so I got the normal Tesco mature cheddar. It, it's not that much more expensive. Stork because I'm going to be making some cakes, probably banana bread. 
butter for the same reason I'm going to be making some hopefully gluten-free pastry and I'm going to be doing a corned beef and potato pie because we really enjoyed that last time um, but this time I'm going to instead of having the corned beef in chunks I'm, I'm just going to mash it up with the potato uh, sparkling mineral water couldn't think what that was called then ham our usual nice dry cured ham and corned beef which is obviously well it's not obvious unless you watch me a lot is one of my favorites avocado for some guacamole because i'm going to be doing some quesadillas again but this time i'm going to put more cheese on because someone thinks thought that i should have more cheese and i agree so i'm going to do some kind of chicken pepper quesadilla type thingy with lots of cheese um, and salad and guacamole chilies for both of those things these red onion and uh, rosemary sausages tomatoes <laughs> red onion and rosemary tomatoes sausages these are the linda mccartney ones as you can see and they are really lovely so got them again uh, tonics just one pack this week so i've still got some in the fridge and as I did last week I'm just making sure that I am uh, only buying what I need I've got three packs of gluten-free pancakes from my husband and three of the chocolate and salted caramel rice cakes a pack of 21 Kit Kats uh, which are just lovely and they're 104 calories so again a really good calorie snack some miniature potatoes because and I was absolutely gutted they hadn't got the Jersey Royals on um, this week which is just well it's just not fair I'm not going to cry but it's not fair anyway some cherry tomatoes little gem lettuce cloudy lemonade which is really nice and very cheap as well I think that's a pound I think for four cans some peppers um, I got the, um, is it Nightingale, excuse the scrunching, yeah, Nightingale Farms ones again, because I'm economising, and I had these the other week and they were fine, so yeah, cucumber, two red onions, two lemons, oh, I have dropped coriander on the floor, uh, two lemons, um, some Tesco Satsumas, uh, coriander for the guacamole and the quesadilla type thing some tender stem broccoli and that will go on to some sides some maris piper potatoes i'm going to be doing i'm going to be taking some meat out of the freezer so i'm going to be doing um some kind of chili with mince um and the i will also be doing the sausages with potatoes and things and I tend to have that with vegetables, so that's what the tender stem broccoli is for. Some blueberries, and I've got these Rose Dean Farm ones because, again, economising and they're a little bit cheaper. Some Warburton's, Warburton? <laughs> Warburton's. Some Warburton's wholemeal loaf for me, a couple of bottles of Pinot Grigio, a, four cans of cider, and a couple of bottles of Pinotage. I'm trying this Tesco granola, which is the super berry, and also this one, which is the um, fruit and nut. And I thought they were the same size packet, but one is 500 grams, that little one there, and this one is a kilo. Some kidney beans for the chilli. Then um, seeded loaf for my husband and gluten-free white wraps for the quesadillas and also I will probably serve that on uh, with some chilli as well you know I might, I might bake them off in the oven I'm not sure yet some um, tonic water for gin or for just drinking as tonic water a couple of packs of Doritos and some of these Tesco variety pack crisps which I like and also a bottle of carver so Yes, that's um, everything I bought this week. Not as much as the last couple of weeks, but still quite a lot to be going on with and using things up in the freezer. Um, we, You'll be um, watching this on Friday, the 30th of April. 
and yeah so we will be at the caravan by the time you see this so yeah we're having a kind of little break away and um yeah so that's why there's um a few treaty things in there in terms of um some kava and um also um i'm going to be baking so a um the corned beef pie and cakes and things so there you are quite a quick one this week and in terms of cost i'm sorry looking over my shoulder in terms of cost it was 95 pounds and 13 pence which i think is uh quite good because there's a fair amount of alcohol in there um but as we are that's for when we're on holiday um and also um obviously a little bit of meat as well um but um not much in the way of fresh veg and things this week but that's because i've just got plenty in and i just don't want to buy it if i don't need it so there you go it's a very short one this week and i look forward to seeing you on the next one and i will be putting something on the end of this video i don't know what yet i shall decide that when I edit the video and either at the beginning or the end of this video I will be talking to you about why I have been economising and yeah some exciting news. Anyway um, thanks for watching if you're leaving at this point and if you are staying on then um, I will show you something else. Well something else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really selling that to you. Anyway, uh, thanks very much for watching if you are leaving and um, uh, for the others of you to whom I'm very grateful, I'll um, see you in a minute. Bye bye. So this is the walk that we went on on Saturday and this is the River Tyvee and normally we see this from the other end of the estuary where we were at Poppet Sands. But we actually started this walk from Cardigan Town itself and this is the view down the river. And we walked along the riverbank and then up through some kind of arable fields and also some fields with some cows and you'll see a little friend I made a bit later on. Um, but yeah, this was a lovely walk and here was our little friend. He, um, as we were looking over the gate, there was a kind of herd, well not a kind of, an actual herd of cows and he came rushing over. So I wonder if he was one of the ones that were kind of hand raised, but he let us stroke his head and things. And we found this lovely old sign, this uh, old castle farm. So I think I'll probably do a bit of digging into that to find out what the old castle actually was. And yeah, it was a beautiful walk. And as you can see here, we're walking down paths and that's towards the Poppet Sands um, place that we go quite often um, and you walk uh, on the opposite side of uh, of the estuary to Poppet Sands so it was really good to see it from a different angle and here again you can see the headlands and like I said um, it, it's a completely different angle and we've never really been over this side of the estuary before so it was a good a good walk and uh, it got us to know the area a little bit more and they're clearly a castle uh, Old Castle Farm doing quite a lot of work here on the fields and these fields have all been uh, ploughed and prepared for some kind of crop so again as we usually do we've promised ourselves that we'll come back later in the year and then see how it looks then and and you can see over there kind of old and new there's a, a tree and a wind turbine <laughs> so anyway that's just a little bit of West Wales for you so yeah there we go um, the end of the video uh, with my well exciting news I think it's exciting and I'm looking forward to this next phase in in my life uh, having worked somewhere for so long it's going to be really weird um, and hard to uh, get all of the stuff that I've had to think about out of my head <laughs> but I'm sure it'll be fine we're looking forward to it we're taking a break um, we're taking most of May off, not all of May, because my husband has to do some work. But um, we're going to be at the caravan for uh, a few weeks and, yeah, just try and chill and relax. So, yeah, I hope um, you'll forgive me for my tardy video uploading over the last week or so. But, um, yeah, like I said, it's a, a bit 
discombobulating and I just wanted to get everything in order so that I could walk away with my head held high and I hope I did that um, and yeah to any I'm not sure if any of my colleagues actually watch these videos or not but if you do um, thank you so much for being a colleague and being a friend I've made so many friends for life and um, anyway, I will look forward to the next part of my life and I'll look forward to a Meals of the Week video, which will be on Wednesday. I've swapped these around just so that I could get this news out to you. Um, so it will be a Meals of the Week video on Wednesday. I look forward to seeing you then, I hope. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you soon. You take care. Look after you and those that you love. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.